Okay, so the next uh, question comes here. Understanding how electrostatic energy scales with charge and separation. Charge and separation. Okay, so let me click on that. I want to do this at first without a whiteboard because I want to uh, click on the explanation. I want you to read that with you. So first of all, here's what we're given. We're going to be given a couple different uh, things like this. The question is, show how these are uh, listed in order of, list these in order of decreasing potential energy. That is, select one beside the s sketch with the system that has the highest potential energy, potential energy and two with the next highest and so on. So when we say potential energy, look at the, look what I have here. I've got two like particles here, so they're um, they're not attracted to each other, right? Because they're they're like each other, and here's two more that are like each other. So there's a repulsive force here, not attractive. Here are opposite charges, and so those are attractive, and here are two more that are opposite, right? So they're also attractive. Well, um, uh, so I'm gonna. I'm going to write a rule down, which we're going to probe here in just a second. But you should suppose that um, more stable is going to mean lower in energy. Okay, more stable means lower in energy, and I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to say, uh, yeah, I'm going to appeal to your intuition a little bit here. Where am I? Okay, so first of all, which of these would be most stable? You've got you've got uh, two particles here which really love each other, right? Because they're opposite in sign. And here's two particles that love each other and they're opposite in sign. Which of these is happier? The ones that are closer or the ones that are further away? Well, if they like each other, they want to be closer, right? That's going to be the lowest because that's the happiest, right? Let me come over here, go back here. Remember, more stable means lower rate in energy, okay? So let me go back here, go here, and say that's gonna be the lowest. Now, these are repulsive. They don't wanna be close to each other. This, these are attractive, they do. This is gonna be the next to lowest. So this will be number four, this will be number three, because these are next to lowest, right? Now these are, if these are uh, not wanting to be close to each other, which of these is, which of these is uh, most unhappy? it's going to be the one where it has the bigger charges, right? At the same distance, so it's going to be the charge difference. And if these guys really dislike each other, this guy dislikes this guy by one, some unit of one. This guy dislikes him by a unit of three. He really dislikes him, okay? And so what that means is uh, this is going to be unhappy because they are they're held close to each other. How close are they? Well, they're one, two, three, four units away, right? Well, these are also four units away, but they don't dislike each other as much. Do you see that? Plus one and plus two is not as bad as plus one and plus three. So this is going to be the highest. I'm going to click here. I won't click because I'm only on a, this is only a snapshot. I'm going to click there, okay? And then this one is, is the next most. That's going to be number two. So one, two, three, and four. Okay, let's look at the explanation now. This is going to be very helpful. You need to read this. All right, so... You can solve this problem by using three facts about how electrostatic uh, potential energy of a collection of charged objects depends on the charge and separation of the objects. See this graph down here. Watch this. First, the potential energy of a pair of charges is positive if they are like charges. So it's going to be up here. It's going to be high if they get close. That's what the green line is here. This is the graph. The energy, can you see that's th this, uh, this um, axis is labeled potential energy U? It's going to be high if the like charges are close, right? So if the, if the distance between the two is low, it's going to be really high. They do not want to be close to each other. And as they get further away, it gets closer and closer to zero, okay? So it gets lower and lower. Now, if, the, if there's an attractive force, then the potential energy between two guys that, that like each other, they want to get closer, right? So as they get closer, that's going to get higher in magnitude. In other words, higher in magnitude, but lower overall, right? It's going to be a negative number. So, and then as they get further away, that also goes to, to zero, okay? So first of all, this means that the, 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 the potential energy of a pair of like charges, and here's some like charges, two negatives or two positives, is always higher than the potential energy of a pair of unlike charges, okay? Can you see that? This graph is always above zero, and this one's always below zero, okay? 
Now, um, and I, I just read those sort of in my own words, um, and then also the magnitude of the potential energy grows with the product of the charges, okay? So, one and two is more positive than the potential energy of one and one, because what is one times two? It's two, right? What's one times one? It's one, so it's, this has a lower uh, potential energy, okay? You need to go through and read these. It's pretty wordy, but you need them. Okay, so we just, that's what we did in the, in the previous uh, snapshot. We showed this. We showed that uh, the, the, the opposite charges, they like to be together, and it's a big charge, right? One times five is five, which is bigger than one times two, right? So this has a lower energy, right? Because it's more stable. And if, and if that doesn't make sense, please read this page again. It's really helpful. It says it real clearly up there. So this is the most stable. Going back here. More stable means lower energy, right? So this is the most stable. And it's as you would expect, they like each other. They want to be close. And they are. So that's the lowest. Okay? These are attracted to each other also because they're opposite charges. But they're not as close as these guys. And the charges aren't as big. So it's going to be the next lowest. Right? And then here's the worst of all of them. That's going to be the highest energy because they're the light charges and they don't want to be close, right? And they're four units away. So that's going to be the highest. And this is the next highest because it's also repulsive force. All right. That's a little bit long, a little bit wordy. Go back through and read this explanation again and, uh, and then practice some more and then bring your questions back to me. Good luck.